Hey guys, it's Dante Ferrigno, Ferrigno Freedom Channel, coming back at you again. I got something heavy on my heart I want to be able to talk to you guys about today, and I don't really know how to get started. All I know is I gotta get started. Because uh, I got up this morning and got the breakfast ready for the kids, got everything ready to get them to go to school, and I don't want to go into detail about personal problems, but I will say that Things came to a head this morning when you got everybody living together and going through all this frustration. Katie had had enough of all the, the things going on and feeling like she's just constantly fighting uphill against not, not things in the house, just things in the world, but also things in the house. You know, getting the boys to do the things they're supposed to do, which they should be doing, and a lot of times they do, but it seems like everybody needs to be on board with taking care of responsibility more now than ever because we're getting so much top-down pressure and putting the kids back in school has been really tough really tough because there's a lot of things we're seeing that we don't like seeing already that are very uncomfortable and again I'm not here to complain about anything in particular I just want to say that for those of you who are feeling that despair sometimes, who are feeling like there's no, there's no end to all this insanity that's going on. There's no solution. It's like you just keep working and you're, you're chipping away at something, but it keeps growing faster than you can chip away at it. All I can say is don't quit. Don't quit doing the things you need to do. You know, when, I, when after Katie got, she, she took the kids to school because she's finally feeling good enough and she had to take her mom to town anyway. And she's taken on a lot, you know, caring for a, a family member who's having a hard time, who's just gone through cancer and a divorce and all the things that happen with that. It's a lot. It's a lot. And trying to maintain the new property. She's got eight hens to look after, five dogs to watch out for if you include the two that my mother-in-law has. We got three cats in the house right now. You know, some of these things could be cleared up on their own, but at the same time, some of these things are part of what makes her life wonderful, makes her life happy. She loves her animals, she loves her critters, she loves her chickens, she loves her yard, she loves taking care of plants and trees and making things grow and making it look pretty, which is why when I went out there to feed the chickens for her this morning, I looked around and thought, oh, the grass needs some cutting. I wasn't planning on cutting grass. Today's my day off, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. Go ahead and do some weed eating. Go ahead and feed these chickens. Clean it up, make it look nice. So when she gets back, she can see the land that she loves to take care of in the condition she likes to see it in so that she doesn't feel like there's this in the way and there's that in the way. Because if I just quit, if I just stop, if I just sit down and start playing on my phone or spend way too much time watching YouTube videos, I'm not gonna get anything done. And it's not even so much what I'm getting done or who I'm even getting it done for. It's simply putting your hands to something productive, doing work diligently. I have found that we gain so much just from the doing of the work that we get replenishment from it mentally. It's like it clears out those, those decks in our head that are clogged with all kind of craziness going on. And when you see something getting done and you know it was productive, when you're done, you not only feel like you accomplished something, kind of like when you play a video game and you beat the high level or you, 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 you get the numbers up wherever they need to be to get your dopamine rush. The problem is, is when you're done with that, you look at it and say, well, an hour went by and I haven't done anything. But when I get out there and get that grass done and I get those chickens fed and I get the floor swept up and I get the clothes started so that when she gets home, she doesn't have to have all that piled up on top of her. I can relax in my heart now. I can feel like, yes, all right, something has been accomplished. But even more than that is what we're dealing with with all of this insanity in the world is we can't give up there either. She was feeling like that despair that comes from fighting a system where you feel like you're all alone. I can guarantee you, first of all, you're not alone. We're just not able to communicate the way we're used to communicating because of all this top-down tyranny that's going on. 
And that also applies to what's going on with uh, the carnivore movement in this, uh, on my channel and others. I don't know if you saw it, but Dr. Baker released a video yesterday or the day before, I think it was, that was talking about that shadow banning that's going on. Basically, they're not blocking our speech, they're just blocking our reach, which means that they're not going to be sharing our information with people whose likes and interests might find this information useful. So YouTube's algorithm is going to start hiding this information from them rather than getting it recommended. For all of those of you who found my channel because it showed up in your recommendations, you were probably searching for some of the things that I'm talking about and the YouTube algorithm said, hey, this might be good for them to watch because they want to make that ad revenue money. They want to get that premium money. They want to get that YouTube TV money. So they want to keep you coming back and watching. So they're going to feed you that information. But at the same time, they've got this ideological agenda that's stopping them from making good sense decisions, that's stopping them from doing things that aren't evil. You know, Google's thing used to be, don't be evil. And I think now that they've decided they're just gonna defer everything to what the World Health Organization says and say that if you don't fall within those guidelines, we're gonna find some way to restrict you. Well, that's unfortunately being evil. And I hope some people at Google wake up to the fact that they are doing exactly what they claim they don't want to be doing. I don't have a whole lot of hope that anybody over there is going to wake up, but I'm still making the plea just the same. But meanwhile, one of the things you can do to help support our movement is to like these videos, to subscribe to my channel, to watch the videos. If you're subscribed, you, you got to watch. If you're not watching occasionally, just put it on in the background, like Dr. Baker said. You know, you don't have to actively watch the video, just have it playing. That way, at least it's showing the views. And that lets the algorithm know people want to hear this information. They want to hear things that are going to build them up and encourage them and help them to find the health and the life that they want. Because eating the right things has turned out to be one of the most important things I've been able to do. Now, it's not the absolute most important thing I've been able to do. I mean, just getting my psychological health together, getting my spiritual life together, those, I mean, I think all three play a huge role. And not one of them is less important than the other in the sense that all three have to be there. If you're not focusing on getting yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually together, then you're not going to be 100%. You're going to be running on less than full cylinders. And... This way of eating has changed everything because I was already on the spiritual path for a long time. I was starting to get on the psychological path by listening to Jordan Peterson and then uh, uh, other speakers out there like uh, Andrew Huberman and some of the other ones who, who make a lot of sense. They have some good worldly sense. They have some good spiritual advice. They have a little bit of a mixture of both sometimes, but ultimately we need, no man is an island unto himself. We need the help of some of these other people. And sometimes you need the help of somebody who's just telling you to eat the right foods. I am just like you guys, trying to get through every day, trying to survive in this crazy world, trying to deal with all the pressures that we're all facing. And the one thing I do know is, is if we, if we quit, they win. When the Board of Education meets and they have to deal with parents, they don't like that. They don't like that you take the time to take interest in your children. And they're gonna push back. All the only thing I can say is, is you can't stop speaking your mind. You can't stop doing the things you need to do. You can't just let somebody else raise your children. You can't just leave your house to go into disrepair. You can't let things go because if you're not taking care of the things that are right around you, that six feet around you, like the old Roman soldier used to say, I'm responsible for this six feet around me. And as long as everybody around me is taking care of their six feet around them, we can't lose. We can't lose. But if you quit, we lose. So all I can tell you guys right now is hang in there. The end is already written. Good wins over evil. Right now it doesn't look very good. But don't quit. Don't quit. Say, screw it. I'm going to get up and do it. Whatever you've got to do right now, whatever you've got to do today, I don't care how small you think it is or unimportant you think it is, get up and do it. And then find the next thing you need to do. And then enjoy the fact that you've completed those things. But also, while you're doing them, enjoy the process of doing them. 
Realize that you are clearing out all that mental garbage when you get those things done. And when you attack that, that den of snakes that's on the table with papers and bills and whatever else you've got to deal with, when you take care of those one or two things, you're gonna start whittling down that big dragon. You're gonna start beating it down and there's gonna be times you're gonna feel like you took a step back, but you just gotta get back up, keep going, and don't quit. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Be sure to check out Ferrigno Freedom Facebook group. This group is private so that you don't have to worry about all your personal information being shared with all of your friends. We're just here to encourage each other and keep each other on track.